Do you have a bare roof on the top of your car like this, but you want to mount a roof rack up there? Well, I've got an option for you. Hey, my name is Ethan and my mission on YouTube is to inspire a love for the outdoors. Normally when I'm making a video, I'm out in my kayak trying to catch some fish, but today obviously that is not an option because I can't get my kayak to the lake. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am super fortunate in that my company provides me a company car. I recently switched from a 2018 Equinox to a 2020 Equinox. The unfortunate thing is it came with a bare roof, so I have no way of getting my uh, roof racks on the top. I used to have roof racks for my 2018. Uh, they looked like this. This is the old ones. Um, they worked really well, but they are stock for the Equinox, and now they don't fit because there's no form of receivers on the top of my car. It's just a bare roof. It's just a dang bare roof. So when I picked up the vehicle, I honestly was pretty frustrated. I didn't really know what to do, but quite honestly, after doing a little bit of research, I saw that there's a couple options. The first one that I saw is the Malone roof rack, and that one has like a suction cup type deal, and then you run the straps through your vehicle. I don't think it's a bad option. It has actually pretty good reviews, but the problem is I just didn't feel super confident in it. I want something that's super safe. I want something that's reliable. I want something that I know is not going to cause any damage to the vehicle. And not that I think that the Malone would do that, but I just didn't feel super great about it. I'll still link it in the description below. All the ones that I find, I'll link in the description below so that way you can review them and see what works best for your situation. The next things that I saw aside from the Malone is obviously like a Yakima rack. Those are really, really good, but they don't unfortunately come uh, available for the 2020 Equinox, so I could not get that. There's a couple other brands like Sport Track brand and some other random ones. But for the most part, what I saw is the Yakima, the Malone, and then the Thule. And the Thule is what I ended up buying. And the reason being is because I really trust Thule. And on top of that, they obviously make an option for a 2020 Chevy Equinox. Now those are the three components you're gonna receive when you get a Thule system. That includes the receivers, they're like the Evo clamp. Then it's like the Thule bars, so I got the square bars, they're the cheapest ones. Honestly, they're all doing the same thing, so I didn't care, I went a little cheaper. And then the kit. The kit is what fits specifically with your type of vehicle. So if you have like a Dodge Durango or whatever, you find a kit that works specifically with that vehicle. I know you guys probably don't wanna sit here and watch me rig the whole thing up, but I'm gonna rig it up real quick and then we're gonna feel it, see how it works. And ultimately this video really is just to tell you some of the solutions that I found um, for people that don't have any kind of mounting system on the top of their car. Honestly, I was really frustrated when I was looking this up. It was a lot of work to figure out what all's out there. Um, it was a lot of Google searching and YouTube and all that stuff. I just wanted to provide a quick solution for those of you that are also in that situation. No joke, these things took me way longer than they should have taken. Here's the deal. They're actually super easy to install, but I kept getting a little paranoid uh, that I wasn't doing it right. But these things are on there solid. These are definitely gonna hold my kayak. These are actually rated for 165 pounds. Super pumped about them. You know what? I was really frustrated when I got this car and there was no way of mounting a roof rack. But here I found these Thule's. They work really great. I look forward to using them in future videos. If you like kayak fishing, hang around. You'll see me using these in the future to haul a kayak out to the lake. But hey, if you have any questions about these racks, about first impressions, that sort of thing, obviously you can drop a comment below. Otherwise, like I said, I linked everything in the description so you can go check them out and see if they'll work for you. Thanks so much for watching. I know today's video is a little different. Next time, we're probably gonna be fishing. See ya.